Hi everyone! Hi Mom! I've completed my journal and wanted to share with you. Now this journal was inspired by one of my subscribers. They said, have you ever, you know, thought about doing a one with like chicken or rooster theme? And it just so happened that I had the Recollections paper pad as well as some of the Graphic 45, the French country. Um, in my stash, I've had it for a really, really long time. And originally I'd intended to make a book, a recipe book using them. And, you know, it's one of those things you get sidetracked and you forget you have it and yeah. Anyway, she reminded me that I did have it. So I was inspired to make this book and I wanted to do it like vintage theme. The, the paper line is quite vintage to me. Um, so I've done a ring binding system with my cinch. And this is one of those Zutter covers that you can get that makes it look like a book. So it covers up the, uh, the rings. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. I'm very, very happy with it. I wanted grunge so because the papers, a lot of them are quite dark. And uh, I just thought it spoke to me. <laughs> so I did do some um, distressing around the edges. Uh, this here is done because the, these covers are super, super thick and I can't use an eyelet in them. And so I usually just glue a, a metal piece and punch through the metal. The crocodile will punch through both. And then just, you know, this is just a hairband from the dollar store. Uh, I do want to show you how that works, though. Um, on this side, because it's got that metal bar, it won't pull through. So I didn't have to wrap it around or anything. And I put it quite far back this time so that I didn't have to shorten the elastic. I wanted it nice and tight so when it closes, it pulls that front cover that way. It's too loose. This will sit back like that and that bugged me. <laughs> I did a bit of stenciling here um, and, you know, back behind the rooster. So I did fussy cut this out of one of the papers as well as... Um, the, this was an edge on one of the papers. They're the same. It's just this is the B side of this particular paper. And I did use uh, decoupage to attach it. So this is done with the Maya Gold paint. And I, you know, just sort of rubbed it around the edges and uh, did, you know, kind of grunged it up. It's, yeah, how I would describe it. I used the Tim Holtz hitch post. And we'll get right into it then. So you see what I mean by it covers the ring's uh, spine. And uh, so I took some of the paper. Now it's a mix, like I said before, of the Graphic 45 and the Recollections. And quite honestly, all the ones that have the cream background, that's the Recollections. And all the ones that are double-sided papers, those are the Graphic 45. So I, I broke out my stamps that have the definitions. I, I got them from eBay. And they're... Uh, um, what is the name of that company? Yuchi, I think. U-C-H-I? I, I think that's the name of the company. Uh, you know, different companies have the definitions, but that's the one that I found on eBay. Just did a couple of little trims here to create the pocket. Use the burlap for here. And then here I added this so that they could write their name in the book. So I've done several of the large tags and all I did was um, kind of trace over the um, Prima Doll tag that I have and I did shorten some of them. I love this paper line, it's so awesome. So I've used one of these clips and I've just attached some uh, cheesecloth and a bit of twine and I just threaded it through and tied it on, that's all I did. And what, why I did that is because on this side is one of these little little guys. So here's some ephemera, and then it just folds out. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you guys on camera, but it's a rather large book. <laughs> Maybe I'll widen out some. That might help a little. But I did it so that you could flip it both ways, so you can write on that side or that side. But to keep it in there, I've just used one of these little clips and then folded these back. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because there's a pocket. I actually glued two of the pages together and cut out a thumb hole and then I stamped out on some tea stain paper 
just the lines using my card <clears throat> to create the lines. And I grunged up the paper. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you. I did because pretty much everything I inked when I flipped the next page, it smeared some of the ink on there. I went with it. So I just used some Lindy's uh, Opal Sea Oats and I just flicked it onto the page. And then this is a Stampin' Up. Um, what is it called? Grunge. I think it's called Grunge. Oh, no, sorry. It's called Off the Grid. It's a wooden stamp. This flips up, so this is part of the ephemera. And it does flip up so you can utilize the entire page. And you can journal on there. Just some trim and whatnot. Now, this is where I've used this paper from Michaels. And it's awesome. I just tear it and, you know, cover the edge with the ink. Somebody asked me what the name of that was. It's a VersaFine Vintage Sepia. Stamped. These are Stampin' Up, little chick. There's three stamps that I used. Um, graphic 45, so there is journaling on the other side. This is part of the recollections. Okay, so this is a Michaels bag that I covered with a little bit of the leftover paper. This is from Recollections, so it pulls out to journal on. And then I left the back of the paper open so you could get at these little journal cards from um, Graphic 45. And then the little Tim Holtz ticket also comes out so you can journal on that. Then these are all the cutoffs from, I used all of them. Uh, sorry, that's not quite the truth. I used a lot of them and the ones that I didn't use, uh, I used as um, tags and whatnot. So all of the paper got used. There's a tiny bit left over that I'm including in the book so that, you know, whoever gets it will be able to cut out flowers or whatever they want. Anyway, these just flip open. So there's tons of journaling. There's, that's the other um, Stampin' Up stamp. There's places that you can actually, you know, put photos if you wish. I love the paper line. Just awesome. And there's the third one. Um, this was just a leftover piece that I cut out using my Cherish Martha Stewart punches and a piece of leftover paper stamped on that. This is part of the recollections and this one is part of Graphic 45. I did a little bit of layering here with, um, that's a Spellbinders. And I covered up some stamping that I didn't like the way it turned out. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just totally honest and up, up, up front. Um, this was part of the collection too. I really love the graph and graphic 45. Graphic 45, some grunging. This is one of those um, stamps. Oh, I don't know who makes it. Hang on. Mm, it's one of my new ones. It is the Paper Studio Flourish. And this was gifted. I just thought that was awesome. So another nice place to journal. Uh, again, leftover tea stained paper. This here is a sticker. And these are from Sweet Nothings Kaiser Craft sticker sheet belly band uh, with the leftover paper. This is part of the ephemera and then it's on a doily that somebody had gifted to me. And I'm saying somebody because I can't remember at this moment. It was either Shirley or it was Val. And I can't remember which one it was. More journaling. There's This is definitely a journal, you guys. And because the, the paper is very bold and very patterned, I added a lot of journaling spots because otherwise it's like a big thick book when you don't have a lot of writing space. So another reason why I added the big tags because they are definitely places where you can journal. Another big one here. This is graphic 45. I added some time cards and these are 
tickets that Irene had given me and I coffee stained those. Another sticker. Um, this is um, off of one big sheet, so there's two different chickens, I believe. This, another one of these clips. Um, so you've got this one. This one's about Cherish. And it just holds this tag, but on this side, it keeps these from falling out. So this is the cutoff of this paper, but you can write on that side. So I didn't want to waste that one. And then this is paper that I sprayed using Sukuniko. I called this um, Rangers, but it isn't. It's Sukuniko. And like I said before, I just uh, used this, watered it down in a spray bottle and then ran it through my printer. And this is a download from Pinterest. It's two chickens. I just cut it in half, the other pieces in here. Um, eyelet that I got from eBay. Uh, another leftover piece. They can be used for anything, you know, like another spot or they can journal on it, stick a photo on it, whatever. More writing, a lot of grunging. This is um, a little tuck spot here. That's the recollections, but it flips up and down so you can write in that. And I cut this using the Cherish. And then this little background piece that I tuck it into is actually from my hair color box that I cut out of a Martha Stewart circle. <laughs> yeah, that's the color I used to go. Uh, another tuck spot with the Graphic 45. I added the Fleur de Lis and I used the um, shimmery pen, a um, jelly pen. And it flips open so there's more writing space. Um, added that to write on. This is a memory box die. Um, blessed. Another writing spot. This is from the Graphic 45. This flips open but it opens twice. I just stitched it together. Great spot to write here. This is also a nice spot to write. Even though it's green, a ballpoint pen shows up on this. Another little uh, recollections. Another spot to write. This is a pocket die. It's called Pocket Die from Memory Box. Another place to journal. This one's definition of believe. Really like um, grunging up the edges of these tags. I think it just adds a little something. Uh, more writing. This one here is an index card that I tea stained in the oven and just cut the edges. That's from the recollections. Did that? Is that showing? Sorry, I tend to move things around. Uh, another journaling one. This is the definition of dream. And then this flips up for writing. This is an envelope that I created out of book paper, sprayed it again with the Sukuniko, and cut it with the Tim Holtz on the edge die. And then inside is a little booklet, and these are the graphic 45. And then it's just leftover tea stained paper, and I stitched it together. This is um, a recollections paper. It's not from the actual paper pad. Because um, the paper pad is cardstock, but these this is paperweight. And I added another fleur de lis with some burlap and whatnot. Two more of the flips. Another one of these. I don't think I stamped. Oh yeah, I did. This one's memories, definition of memories. This one, does it have a... No, this one I didn't stamp on. I really like tiling this um, burlap. So um, Irene had given me this stuff. You get three different kinds. I used up all one kind already. And all I'm doing is pulling off the edge and just using them as ties. It looks really cool. I like that. Another belly band. This one here is a tea stained tag from Irene. Stamped it first and then I tea stained it because I did stamp it with the Versamark and then I stenciled it with the My Gold. Another time card. This uh, envelope is actually from the Treasury <laughs> from City Hall, Vancouver, British Columbia and I just created a pocket 
out of that and I just line the top part here with leftover pieces of the paper. I like the window in that. That was a last minute ad. I was flipping through. I always double check, you know, to make sure I finished, actually finished, and then I discovered a page that I didn't cover. Um, so yeah, it was sitting on the desk, so I used it. There's the other part of that chicken. Um, beautiful has its moments. Treasured memories. Another sticker. This one here added a little paper clip so that this stays in and that's the other piece, other half of that piece that I stained with the Sukuniko. Use that little cut off. They're all just cut offs. And this just has, uh, oops, it's upside down. This just has the uh, string of burlap and little bits of junk. <laughs> Hence the junk journal. And I cut out the heart. Those were gifted to me from Alicia. And uh, used one of my stamps on that. I can't read it upside down, you guys. Added one of my damask eggs. Now in here, it, I have the last journal box from Graphic 45. And then these are just the last bits that I have left over, which can be used in any way the person chooses to use them. or not, up to them. And I just trimmed it out with some of the eyelet. And on this side, that's a, um, another little ephemera that came with Graphic 45. I just stuck it in there. Now, a uh, big writing spot here. And then on this side, I just did this little notebook. There's three pages on that. Just trimmed it out with the leftover sticker. And there's the other part of that paper. This one I've wrapped this doily around. I just glued it right down. It's not a tuck spot. You can just journal right over top. And this is what I did with this side. So instead of using, you know, the paper, you can just write right on the doily. Another writing spot, another sticker. So the, the rest is basically just writing spots. There's tons of journaling. I love the way this turned out. And then the last of the flips. So you can see I did use a ton. Didn't want to waste anything. And I really like using these little places to, you know, throw some photos on. Or even just, you know, glue down receipts or memorabilia, whatever you want. Just something you want to hang on to, right? And there's the other tag I did with the rooster. This one is, um, I don't remember the name of this one, but it's also Martha Stewart. I don't think I wrote the name on this. I probably should. Then I could tell you actually what it, oh, it is. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sorry, guys. And that's it. So the back, like I said, I signed and that you've got like tons and tons of room for journaling. This is a nice big chunky monkey, but it, you know, it's not, I don't think it's overly big personally because it does close. I don't necessarily need the closure, but I like the look of it that it, you know, keeps it nice and aligned and everything. And I like all the stuff sticking out of the top like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. But, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. So have a great week, you guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.